Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to day one of my Uyang Miss, my 25 days of uploads. I cannot believe that we are finally here. This year has flown by. Every holiday seems to have just come and go so quickly. December just snuck up on me. I cannot believe that we are almost done with 2023. We're about to move into 2024. It is absolutely crazy. If you are new to my channel and you don't already know, the reason why I call it Uyang Miss is that it comes from when I first started my channel. It was called Uyong Beauty. So like the first couple of years, that's what it was called. I wanted a little bit of my Korean culture in the name. Uyong means best face. That's the reason why I went with it. But going into my third year, I went ahead and I changed it. It seemed like people weren't really resonating with the name. They weren't really understanding it. They were having a difficult time pronouncing it. So I just went ahead and went with a variation of my name going into my third year, I think it was. But I still call it Uyong Miss. That's probably what I'm going to call it, you know, for the duration of this channel for as long as I'm doing it. I decided I wanted to wear my I am Knuff shirt today. After all, I am Knuff. I loved the Barbie movie as a whole. I loved Margot Robbie as Barbie, but I think as you can see, it was Ken that stole the show for me. Before we jump into doing what we're actually going to be doing in this video, I thought I'd kind of talk a little bit about what I'm going to be doing for my young miss. For me, December is a time to reset rejuvenate, declutter, just kind of get refreshed for the new year. So I'm going to be doing some declutters. I'm going to be doing my favorites. And I have some other things that are going to be kind of mixed in here and there. It just kind of depends on where they end up falling into the schedule. Right, right now, I'm currently pre-filming because if I don't, there's no way I could get 25 videos done in the row. It just would not happen. Now, for today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cleaning and reorganizing this little area. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around so you can see what we're working with and I'm going to kind of let you guys know what we're going to be doing. So like I was saying in the intro of the video, we are going to be cleaning. We are going to be reorganizing. I have already done this side. I've done my Christmas decorating over here already. I'm still kind of working on this shelf. This shelf you don't really see too much in the background. It's mainly this one. But as you can see, I put up these little snowflake Christmas lights. I have a Christmas tree back here, some gingerbread people. This little sign says Noel. Probably going to move that somewhere else, but this is what we have working with for now. And then I put up my Believe in the Magic of Christmas sign. So this part is already done. What we're going to do is we're going to take everything off the top of the vanity. I'm going to dust. I'm going to clean. I'm going to wipe down my lights because this little area right here gets so freaking dusty. It is unreal. I'm going to remove the stuff off of these shelves, dust all that, and then I'm going to put up some Christmas decorations over here too. I picked up some acrylic organizers. I have been talking about this since my last Young Miss. I've been looking for an acrylic organizer for my base products because I'm wanting to put my foundations everything together in one place. And I did find something. I got something at Target. I will show you that whenever we get to that part. What I'm not going to do today, I'm not going to do any of the drawers. I'm going to wait and just do that whenever I do my declutters because these drawers need to be really clean too. I got some dividers that I'm going to do for these drawers. They have not come yet. So that's one of the reasons why we're not going to do that. We're just going to mainly focus on the top focus over here. And like I said, I'm probably going to redo this whole section over here too, but it's, it's a start for now. Moving into this area, the top three shelves I'm not going to work on right now. I'm once again going to do that whenever I do my declutters. The focus is going to be on the bottom shelves. I found some acrylic organizers from In Home that I'm excited to put over here for my makeup archive. And then we're just going to kind of re- do this whole section under here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take everything off the top so we can start cleaning and wiping and then we can get to the fun part, which is the organizing and the decorating. Everything has been cleared off. As you can see, these shelves are so freaking dusty. That just happens when you have like tchotchkes and stuff sitting on shelves. It gets dusty. So we're going to be cleaning that up, wiping all of this down. As you can see, 
The top of the vanity is stained. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get this off. I have tried so many different things. It will not come off. The last thing I tried actually started taking the finish off of it. So I just keep a cloth on the top of it and it works just fine. But we're going to wipe this down, get this dust free. Same thing over here. Same thing over here. We'll finish up this area and then we'll move on to that area. got this part all organized and clean. I'm especially happy about this. This was so old and greasy. It needed to be cleaned so bad. It's finally time to move on to the fun part. Like I mentioned, I have been looking for an acrylic organizer that I could use for my base products for so long and I hadn't found anything. And then my husband and I, we were at Target one day and I saw this and I thought, oh my God, this is perfect. It is exactly what I've been looking for. So that's three drawers and what my goal is I'm wanting to put my foundations in here I have been wanting to put my foundations somewhere where I can just kind of lay them flat and then like just see them at a glance I'm hoping that I can get all of my base products in here I am going to be doing some decluttering throughout the month so even if it is a little bit tight right now I'll be moving some things out and so everything will eventually fit in really well. But I'm going to go ahead and take these stickers off. There's a piece of cardboard in here as well. And then we're going to go ahead and start organizing this. So this is what I have so far. I left space over here because my hope is to put some concealers over here because like I said, I'm wanting all of the base products, primers, foundations, concealers, powders to all fit in this unit. And this one is going to sit on the bottom because it's going to be the heaviest. Let me go ahead and finish organizing this and then we'll just kind of see what it looks like when we're done. managed to get everything in here but it's just kind of a hodgepodge it's kind of all mixed up right now on the top I have my concealers it's kind of cool though because these all fit side by side I have some powders in the front here primers and powders just all mashed up in there I mean you can see I, I have way way too many and then on the bottom I need to fix this bottom part because it just it won't slide out the right way and it's not this it has to do with the bottom part i'll have to fix that but in here i have foundations and powders now it looks like a lot because it is a lot when i get ready to do my declutters a lot of this stuff is going to be going so it will fit in here better and i did buy some dividers like i said they're just not here yet when they come this would be a lot more organized but i am liking this i'm liking how everything is fitting in the inside i think it looks really good so far i am happy with this but we will just have to see you know if it continues to work for me or not 
I don't know. We will see. Now to move on to this situation. Like I mentioned in the beginning, we are not going to be worrying about these top three shelves. I'm going to focus on that whenever I do my decluttering because, you know, we have to take all these off and I'm not going to take them off and put it back on. It's just too much right now. Our focus is these shelves down here. I bought some new acrylic organizers from an archive. I had mentioned that I've been looking for something acrylic and I did find some. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let me go ahead and clear everything off wipe these shelves down, and then we will start organizing. So these are the acrylic containers that I picked up from my archive. I was hoping that I could take this and do it sideways, but it's just not quite wide enough as far as the shelves. I'm going to have to do it this way. I got all four of these from at home. These were $4.99, $5 each, and then these were $19.99. So not perfect. I was hoping for drawers, but I just could not find any that would actually work over here. I saw a lot of plastic drawers, but that's just not what I wanted. That was not going to work. They were not going to fit. I'm still working on this area throughout 2024 if i find a better storage option then that's what we'll do but for now this is what i'm working with so i'm going to go ahead and organize my palettes in here this is going to be for the archive blush highlighters lipsticks face palettes things like that eyeshadow palettes will go on here and then i have kind of like overflow here and i'm not sure quite yet what i want to do with this one this may be trash empties or i might use it for future giveaway items i'm not quite sure yet but I'll take the tags off and then i'm going to start organizing this section <laughs> We are finally done with this area. This part I showed you guys on camera. We have the archive blushes, highlighters, face palettes, lip products, and then the archive eyeshadow palettes. I don't have anything to put in here right now, so I'm just using that as some storage. And I think I am going to go ahead and use this for giveaway items. So going into the future, anything that I have that I'm going to do giveaways, give to friends or whatever. I'm just going to throw them in this bin. It'll be a little bit easier. And then the bottom shelf, this is where I have all the extra storage. This right here is what I had on the vanity. It's what I originally had my face, my all of my base products in. And I just decided to put it over here and use it for storage over here. And you guys, I think it looks so much better than what it was looking like before. Definitely let me know down in the comments, but so far I'm really happy with what I have going on over here. Now let me show you this area. I did a lot of this stuff off camera. I wanted to kind of test and see what some of my Christmas decorations would look like. As you can see, I moved the gingerbread people over here. There's an LED Christmas tree back here, it changes uh, colors. You can kind of see it on camera. I need to replace the batteries. The lights should be a little bit brighter, but you can kind of see right there how it's changing color. I might move this, it depends. I thought since I have my little gingerbread people over here, I move my little candy shop over here, it lights up. But in the background, you may not be able to see it. Over here, we have the base products. Everything fits in here. I'm so happy about that. My lipstick. Organizer is back on the top, all my setting sprays, and then my little decorative lipstick organizer. I threw Gingy back here for holiday decor. We'll have to see what it looks like when the lights are on, if it's like reflecting off the can or not. This is actually a cookie jar. I got this from Target. I don't know if I mentioned it, but this came from Target too. It was $14.99, so very reasonably priced. Also got this candle from Target. So this is what I'm thinking about right now for the background. It might change. You already saw this part, and as you can see, I did reconfigure this. I moved my little tiny Mr. and Mrs. Claus over here, and then another Santa Claus here, and I redid the lights because they were kind of jumbled before. But so far, I am 
liking the way that everything is looking. I still have to do the drawers, but like I said, I'm going to work on that whenever I do my decluttering. So that is for another day, but so far everything is looking really good. That is going to be it for day one of Ooyang Miss. I'm very excited about getting everything cleaned and organized. I think it looks really, really good. I think we did an excellent job. I'm very happy with the way everything looks. I hope this video wasn't too super long. You know, whenever you're doing a cleaning type vlog, it can get pretty long. So hopefully it wasn't too long. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help with getting my videos into recommendations. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you do not miss a thing. Also, also make sure you tap the bell so you get all the notifications of all the videos I will be uploading in the coming month. You can also follow me on my other socials. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.